Hi everyone, uh, today we're doing kind of like a discussion analysis video, uh, you know, my little setup, uh, on the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit game, which just got its first public trailer. Uh, this game got leaked a couple months ago, uh, and we just have had basically no word on it since. However, obviously since it got leaked, uh, people have been speculating about it a ton, and this is where it's first finally gone officially announced that this game is in production. See, so yeah, I think Scott did make some kind of post talking about the, the, the game, which is pretty neat. Um, however, we are just going to have to watch the trailer, which got shown off at the uh, Guerra Collective Showcase. Let me make sure I'm pronouncing that right. Gorilla. Okay, it's Gorilla. See, so yeah, this got announced at the uh, Gorilla Collective Showcase, so uh, we are going to have to, you know, check it out, see what it's about. Uh, here we go. Into the pepperoni. <laughs> Ooh, nice Mega Cat Studios. Ooh, Jeff's Pizza. It's all buggy and stuff. Some doors should never be opened. Okay, there's the ball pit. Oh my god, the sprite works so good for this. Travel back to when it all began. Oh my god, there's so many! So many kids, holy shit. I like- <laughs> I'm sorry to pause, but I like- I like this kid. This kid's a vibe. This is, this is the nerd send the table. <laughs> There's so many different kids at this place. No place is safe. Whoa. It's going down. Oh, Spring Bonnie looks cool. I really like the way he looks. Oh my god, he's like, orange-ish now. <laughs> Oswald's scream is really funny. Ah! Oh my god, he's so fast. Oh, freaky. Ooh, walked right past. Five nights at Freddy's into the pit. Oh my gosh, prepare for a new nightmare. Oh, that's a really cool jump scare. Ooh, okay. Fresh pizza coming soon. More info at pizza, jeffspizza.club. So you got the Mega Cat Studios logo, Scott Games, coming out for Steam, Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, and Xbox. So it's completely multi platform. I imagine the same release, but that's really cool. Alright, so uh, to start with the trailer, this is what uh, uh, you got it kind of cutting to a arcade. Well, I'm going to turn this down a bit. Cutting to like an arcade of Spring Bonnie. You can kind of see like this outline. Uh, and then you see you cut to the logos and Jeff's Pizza. If you don't know what Jeff's Pizza is, Jeff's Pizza is from the book. I mean, just gonna kind of explain this stuff from the book. This is the present time in the book, and I believe the book takes place in 2020. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, in present day, this is uh, the place that used to be Freddy Fazer's Pizza, and after it closed down, Jeff's Pizza took over the uh, the area. Uh, and you can see during the story, Oswald time travels in the ball pit, sort of going into this memory of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and uh, that's where, you know, you get all this stuff. Um, you know, some doors should never be opened. You can see, you know, sort of like this is the what it looked like when it was Freddy's, employees only, uh, and then you have the ball pit area, but it's like, that's at Jeff's Pizza. Uh, there's ball pits everywhere, cobwebs, just everywhere. Sort of like glowing, you can see handprints on it, it's, it's all freaky looking. Uh, Oswald's walking up to it. You got some like physics for the ball pit balls, they're kind of all moving around as he's walking through them. Pretty cool looking. Uh, and then you have a look at Freddy's. So yeah, you have all these different sprites for the kids, and wow, there's just like... <laughs> I like this hat, It's like it's got like a chica, chica hat. Um, you got like a hot dog here, you got some kids celebrating. Uh, some party hats, there's like a, like a, the banner for Freddy's, kind of looks like, almost like the Unwithered's, I think, with like the top teeth, um, but they are kind of like the classics on stage, you have all these kids cheering, I kind of like, you can kind of see this, the same two, two girl sprites they use, but that's understandable, all these kids cheering, the sprite work for this game looks gorgeous, by the way, like, every, all the movements are very fluid, like, wow, they did a fantastic job, um, all the animatronics are dancing on stage, uh, <laughs> Bonnie's flossing. Um, alright guys, it's canon. Bonnie invented flossing in the, in the FNAF universe. Um, here is, oh my god, all the kids just sort of having a good time. Arcade. <laughs> I think that's Bounce Pot from FNAF World. There's a, <laughs> you got Bounce Pot from FNAF World, Exotic Butters, 
a foxy mask, yeah, Freddy plushies, like a little rocket ship, I think. All the arcades. I think that's BB's Air Adventure? Yeah, it's BB's Air Adventure. You got Midnight Motorist. Um, I don't know what this one is. This is sort of just a couple standard arcades. Party. I don't think any of the other arcades have anything special. I think they're just kind of there. There's a whack-a-mole. Um, no place is safe. And then you have all the kids running from, I imagine, Spring Bonnie. All of standing here. Um, if I had to guess, I think this might be... If these are the missing kids. I imagine this is Jeremy, Cassidy, Fritz, and Susie, based on what I know about their designs. Um, then again, it could just be a bunch of regular kids. I have no idea. Um, that's my guess, though. Uh, you can see a poster for Circus Babies up here. Uh, Circus Babies Pizza World. And then we finally get our first look at Spring Bonnie, which, wow. Oh my god, the spray work again for this is just really cool looking. Um, from what I know, this game is very heavily based on Clock Tower, which was an old sort of 16-bit uh, horror game. And it's got a lot of those elements in it, which is really cool. Um, you can see Pirate's Cove, just rules for safety, and a whole bunch of stuff. Run, hide under the table survive here's another look at the arcade uh with what it seems to be spring bonnie running through chasing oswald um and then we're hiding in a suit and you know spring bonnie kind of walks by us and also there's like the pizza so yeah if you don't know jeffspizza.com uh i can actually look this up real quick just pizza or dot, dot club excuse me is this website so this website is jeffspizza.club obviously it's not ready yet but this seems to be like an arg sort of promo thing for the website uh, if you click on the name, you start to hear this music, which is pretty cool. It's a little, little ditty, uh, pretty cute. Um, but yeah, Jeff's Pizza. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go back to our roots here. I want to look at the source code. I think F12 is the button. Doesn't seem like there's anything specific. Um, yeah, I don't see nothing. So this is the Steam page for Into the Pit. Uh, as you can see, this is the original trailer. Here's the banner for the game. Uh, I can put it up on screen too. The banner for the game, really nice. I like how fluffy Spring Bonnie looks. It's, again, it's, it's kind of like this like weird, like fluffy, sort of shiny look. It's really neat. The ball pit balls are all around him. He also some individual little gameplay screenshots. So here is, again, Oswald running through the arcade. You can see the ticket eater over here. It's running from Spring Bonnie. Uh, you have Oswald and what it seems to be parts in service. There's a broken down Freddy Fredbear animatronic. Uh, it's got like all this, like the open chest and the missing arm. Uh, you can see all the stuff in the back. You got cupcake, a bunch of parts and service masks. Um, ooh, okay, there's Spring Bonnie sort of peering through the door. Jeff's Pizza, the restaurant, Oswald's standing outside. Uh, you have, ooh, what appears to be Oswald's house. Um, this is uh, this takes place in August. You can see Spring Bonnie chasing Oswald in his house. Um, here is another screenshot, which is Bonnie under the table, sort of dragging Oswald underneath, trying to grab at his leg. Here's a close-up screenshot of Spring Bonnie's jump scare. Um, the kitchen with Chica. There's a Freddy oven. Uh, there's a picture on the floor, it seems. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Spring Bonnie in the corner. Uh, you have Spring Bonnie at the dinner table. Uh, I believe in the story, there's like something where... Oswald starts hallucinating his dad as Spring Bonnie, so this seems to be what this is sort of referencing, probably going to be taking that point from the story. Here is another screenshot of Oswald's house with just Spring Bonnie. It's a lot of strange, everything looks kind of run down, so there's a no, no entry on this door. I don't know if it's like a toilet, I can't tell what that is. Um, you can see here, Oswald's bedroom is a cat, there's like a little plushie here, some pictures, Godzilla on, the, on a poster. Um, at least it needs to be referenced to Godzilla. Uh, Run! It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not. Still, we should run like it is Godzilla! Though it isn't. <laughs> Seems like to be a bunch of other drawings and animatronics. We know Oswald in the story, he likes drawing animatronics. Um, you have a bunch of toys. Um, here is a, ooh, it seems to be a room with a Golden Freddy suit. June of 1985, uh, there's sort of some Fred Bears posters. So this seems to be another back room, or a side room. Interesting. So yeah, we have, I think this is a Golden Freddy plushie, judging by the blue eyes and the, the, it seems to be like a purple hat right there. I can't tell, but maybe. But yeah, that's all the screenshots on the Steam page. We can read about the, about stuff. 
Jump into the pit and immerse yourself in a new chapter in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. Oswald wishes this town and his life weren't so boring. That all changes when he explores the ball pit in a rundown pizzeria and finds himself in the past. However, Oswald's deepest desire will have an unexpected cost. Survive Five Nights of Terror in this chilling adventure game, travel between time periods, gather clues, and outrun the threat relentlessly pursuing you. Move swiftly and stay hidden and you may just survive, but be careful, it's not just your own life that's on the line. Oswald's father and children from the past could all meet their end if you don't save them. Key features, experience the heart-pounding adventure of a beloved entry in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise into the pit, solve satisfying puzzles intertwined with an adrenaline-fueled story, immerse yourself in a narrative experience, try to save your friends, your family, and your own life, uncover secrets that span decades, discover different endings, escape the clutches of the animatronic creatures wreaking havoc across time. Alrighty, this is a whole bunch to unpack. Seems this game is going to have multiple endings. Uh, the the time-traveling sort of ball pit seems to go between more than just the past and the present. There might be some sort of in-between stuff, or you might be able to see some secrets. Um, it seems like there's going to be ways to save the missing children from uh, the missing children incident, which, again, we do know that the missing children incident takes place in 1985. Uh, so, yeah, that's, um, that's interesting. Say so we're gonna sort of get to see what happened, uh, during that sort of whole thing, and probably some more characterization for those characters, which is gonna be really cool. And again, yeah, it just seems like this is gonna be really, really interesting. Again, I'm excited to see the different endings. Just play this game, it sounds so fun. Uh, we are going to check out the Mega Cat Studios page now, uh, as that also has some new info. Mega Cat Studios' own webpage. So this is the webpage for the game. Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit. Uh, fall into the pit and immerse yourself in the new chapter of horror of Five Nights at Freddy's Universe. And this is sort of the same, basically the same, um, you know, sort of spiel. Um, so yeah, we actually do have a couple new things. Uh, solve satisfying puzzles intertwined with an adrenaline field story. Test yourself or take it easy and hard when casual mode is very difficult. So we're going to have different difficulties. Uncover secrets and fatal minigames and discover different endings. So yes, we're gonna have minigames uh, That seem to be sort of like branching between different things escape the clutch of the animatronic creature reaching wreaking havoc across time Dive into the classic horror game adventure in its entire in its entirety packed with agency and easter eggs All right now, this is where we get to some interesting stuff. So here We have what appears to be a Freddy uh, Monster animatronic uh, that looks very very similar to the spring bunny uh monster that is in this game uh and it actually people have sort of compiled this image seems like these like some sort of easter egg and you can see the full image here uh it's a bit low quality but you can see it there's it appears to be some guts in his mouth uh his eyes again it just has the same sort of gross monster insides and it appears that this might be golden freddy as it does have sort of like an orangish color the same hue that spring bonnie has and the purple bow tie so we might be getting some fredbear stuff in here that's really interesting um so yeah that's really cool uh we have a couple other things so we have a screenshot of the game uh i can't really tell quite what this says i believe this says objective escape seems to be a part where the animatronics start to go sort of havoc on you they're all seem to be broken down uh, very scary looking. There's like a sound thing coming from coming from right here. Oswald's running away. Um, and then we have another screenshot which we saw earlier. Spring Bonnie sort of peering through this between this crack. Um, Fire and Spray is into the pit. Blah, blah blah blah. This is the trailer. And then we have three gifts which are really really interesting. The first gif is Oswald opening a door and finding Spring Bonnie uh, standing in front of what appears to be the missing children's bodies. Uh, their dead bodies are just skewed across the floor. Um, a quick time event, just press space comes up, uh, and I believe it seems like Oswald activates it and throws a, ch a stool at Spring Bonnie when he jumps at him. So again, just oh my god, this is crazy because we have like we have not seen a lot of very explicit gore, and I understand that this is sort of like a 16-bit game. However, it it's still just crazy to see this so explicitly shown. Uh, that's just straight up five or six dead bodies. We don't really, I think, I think it's six. I think I'd have to count, but yeah, you can just see, oh my god, the sprite, again, the sprite work on this game looks incredible. Um, then we have another gif, which is Oswald, again, just sort of walking around the ball pit room, again, the physics, and he gets jump scared. Uh, I think, I believe the objective on the top right says hide in the ball pit, um, but you can see Oswald gets jump scared by a spider uh, that kind of crawls around <laughs> from our front perspective, and then Oswald climbs up into the ball pit and jumps in so and you can sort of see this like ball pit transition uh between i imagine the past and the present um so yeah again just wow it's really cool looking and then lastly 
we sort of have an extended scene of the one in the trailer where Spring Bonnie uh, sort of waves and beckons to us to follow him. Uh, and you can see he, uh, again, just, oh my god, the lighting and like the, the camera movements in this game are nuts. And then he turns around and walks and kind of, you can see this animatronic is towering. He's gigantic. He literally has to, cr has to hunch down to get through the doorway. So you can just sort of see how massive and imposing this guy is. It's, he's freaking huge. Um, so yeah, that appears to be everything I can find on the game at the moment. This game looks absolutely incredible. Um, I'm really excited to see what Mega Cat Studios is cooking up for, for FNAF because uh, this is a one of the games for the 10th anniversary, and that's just going to be really cool, really interesting. So yeah, I mean, like we, we got a whole bunch of other stuff coming down the road for the 10th anniversary, and I believe and we'll, we'll have more info on June 12th based on like the sort of ARG... Just Pizza promotional website. So yeah, um, I don't know about you guys, but I think this game's gonna be freaking awesome. Uh, can't wait to, you know, talk about it, maybe even play it, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be really cool. I'm really excited for this game. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I don't know about you all, but I think I'm gonna go order a pizza. Okay, bye.